Hello, hello. Welcome to the adventures of Marrow Arrow. And we are hanging out in the... Oh, why is that volume all the way down? We are hanging out in the over there, and we are doing some Mad Ranger pulling. And we're with a friend, Faelene, which many of you probably forgot or never even knew. But she grouped with us back in the days when Marrow was young in Upper Guck. And uh, we grouped a little, quite a bit down there, but not much since. Finally, we happen to be out at the same time. She invited me over, so I dragged Mero from Emerald Jungle and ran him all the way over here. And let me tell you, I'm glad I did. Right now, the XP is only at about 23% an hour, but that's still better than I was getting in a stables group, which I did not record. And earlier, before we added a sixth, it was up to like 32, 33% an hour. And you've got to remember that 40 is a hell level, so this is really good. Uh, the stables group I was in was a decent group, and I was getting like 14% to 15% an hour, something like that. But we are just, like, chain pulling, basically. See, like, we bring in a mob. And uh, the interesting thing with the ranger that I found with this is that um, I run out of energy. And since I'm carrying a lot of stuff, when I run out of energy, I get debuffed, and it makes me encumbered. So it's forced me to be aware of when I'm running out of energy and to therefore um, use my spell in Vigor to give myself more energy so I can do more DPS and whatnot. But pretty soon we're going to take a polling break because I'm almost out of mana here and I would like to met up a bit. Maybe let someone else pull for a hot minute. Oh look, I outranged him. So let's hope that someone's on ad control. Well, yeah, he's gonna split tank the other one. I'll tank this one. All right. Now I can get back in on this guy. Let the monk take him for a hot minute. They do have men and stuff after all. We've rooted the Berserker over there, so we did some little a little bit of Ranger CC action here. And now we're going to get into it. We're definitely going to tank this one because we got decent HP. And I think we are the group tank, technically speaking. Oh, looks like uh, the Shaman got a charm break. Yes, the Shaman is charming rhinos. I did not know they could do that at this level. But I guess we are getting kind of high. So if they ever could, now would be the time. Let's help finish off this other night. And so you see, I'm just trying to do a really good job of keeping a consistent, constant flow of killable bad guys. And that does not include the Dragoon that's walking over there. i got to be careful of him. But it does include this Cockatrice. Looks like the Dragoon is killing that Cockatrice. He's not just any dragoon, he's general. We avoided him. He would rip us apart. So you see the mobs are just going down so fast, so I immediately turn around and luckily there's tons of pathers here. I am ripping it up. I've got a quickness or a from the, usually not right now, but I usually have a quickness haste from the shaman when he can afford it, combined with my flowing black silk sash, and it's just amazing how much this guy is swinging and landing big hits with his worm slayer. It is beautiful. We are doing excellent damage. You can see it. We just double hit for 5581 a second ago. Just crushing it. Alright, so we're not getting aggro on this guy, so we're gonna throw a snare out, even though our mana's getting low. And there, you see our energy is depleted. Now we are encumbered. So this is when we throw ourselves in in vigor. You can see my energy bar just under my mana bar. It's a green bar between the yellow XP bar and the blue mana bar. You've got an energy bar. And I throw it in vigor. It's like a 10 second dot that will replenish that energy quite nicely.
Trying to hold aggro on this one. Take a couple hits because we got full HP and we got a chloroplast, so we better put that chloroplast to use. But we gotta go. That mob's gonna die, and we want more. Luckily, I've got max range arrows. I got the cheapest arrows I could make, but in every uh, dimension which increased their range, I got the you know the best I could get. So they're like 150 or 200 yard arrows. You know, on top of the bow, I guess, is that a stacking range thing, or is one of them a cap for the other? I'm not sure how that works, but we definitely got good range going on, which really helps with pulls, but let's get this tiger here. See, like, I can be pretty far away. It's almost too far, because in Kunark, they got this lazy aggro thing, where basically, um... Uh, if you get too far from a mob, they just kind of give up on you until you get back in range. A certain range. And I've been having trouble with that lately. Wow, look, this guy's already... Well, he's not almost dead, but I still want to go pull something else. Oh, my attack was on by accident. Let's grab him that way. And there we go. Help finish off the kitty. And then start in on the rhino, just chain pulling it up, getting 27% an hour, which was really good. We dinged 40, and I was recording it. Unfortunately, I I flipped over to OBS to find that I had a message saying you don't have enough room on your hard drive. Recording has stopped. I didn't like where it stopped, and I decided to just get rid of it, um, which is a bummer. But we did some fun duoing with Grognock. I'm not sure if that's going to make it up. No, I don't. Th I think that was the video. We were doing an Emerald Jungle uh, snare and panic or f fear kiting animals with uh, a 43 Ixar warrior, Grognok, which is the alt of our friend um, Throbbit. I keep forgetting to turn attack off, which makes it much harder to shoot the arrow. But we're only going to engage this guy for a second before we go around to the other one. We don't want to leave the group waiting. I know they don't want us to leave them waiting either. That seems good. Because I just saw that. That guy booked it away. Shoot. So what else is around here? I guess I could still go for him. Spirit of Wolf is dropping. My strength buff dropped. Which has got me en encumbered. So I'm going to ask for a med break. Get some mana back and rebuff myself with Strength of the Earth. Maybe the monk can pull, I hope. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say that I'm AFK. I'm not really AFK. I just I want an excuse to actually stand a med and not be hitting. You know, uh, I just I've got some stuff I gotta put up here. I've gotta do. Uh, where is Bramble Coat? Huh? You think he would be a st static buff, but I don't see it anywhere. Damage shield. There we go. Gotta put up our Bramble Coat. Oh, he needs Sal. Okay, Sinip needs Sal. He's getting Sal from the Shaman. Okay. There we go. Give ourselves Strength of the Earth. And our own Sal is about to drop as well. And we don't have the mana for it. Anyway, gonna pause while we do this. All right, we're back. But I'm not going to tell them that yet. I still need to resow. I'm going to wait a couple more minutes, get some get some real mana under my belt. Well, we got quickness burning a hole in our pockets. Let's just get back to it.
There we go, now we're moving. Another problem is we could run out of arrows. We're burning through them. Yep, we're burning through them right quick. We're gonna run out of arrows sooner rather than later. I'm hoping we can get them in the outpost with a little camouflage sneak action. And I've got to do this little trick, which you might have seen me do before. It's going to be harder now that i got bags that are practically full. But we open up our quiver and our, and our uh, tailoring kit, or our fletching kit, and our supply bag. And we'll literally, while pulling, while fighting... Uh-oh, we're getting ourselves in trouble here. Not right now, though. This is getting, because we got like three or four mobs in the camp, so. Really need to just focus on just taking stuff down at the moment. There we go. Now we got things back under control. See, while I'm fighting, I'm making more arrows. Look at that. Just made ten arrows mid fight. And then back to the poles. Looks like there's another one in camp, but by the time this other one gets here, this guy's gonna be on the run, or pretty much dead. That, my friends, is how you chain pull while also fletching. Well, looks like we got another ad that just kinda jumped in. Can help DPS on him. While our pole gets over here. And look, already done. Look at this just sea of corpses. Holding at a steady 27% an hour. Kind of carrying this SK here. He's a little 38 SK, so he's lower than me. So I end up tanking. I'm pulling. He's not exactly, you know, the DPS guy. But before, hit, when he wasn't in the group, we were doing like 33% an hour, which was amazing for a hell level. It was blowing my mind. fighting here. Let's make another arrow or two. Probably just... Oh, we actually failed the combine? Okay. I guess it can happen. And we're just about to run out of energy, so we're gonna have to cast Vigor on ourselves again here. You can tell the Chloroplast wore off. It's definitely apparent. This is the this is the ranger in all of his glory, snaring, occasionally fear kiting, but when, it, when it's worth it, pulling, tanking, and I'm actually doing pretty decent DPS as well. This this dragoon guy is oh Jesus. These guys are just going crazy over here. So while we tank this guy in, in 
chill out. Let's do a combine. Oh, I didn't actually fail. I put the wrong ingredients in. There we go. Uh-oh, I think our monk just got chased off. Sure seems like it. Wow, I had auto attack off there <laughs> for a good while. So it looks like we're going to have to reset, because we aggroed them goons. And I think they kind of get... pulled off the path. By animals. They see animals and they start attacking them and whatnot. Oh no, Mazzini died. Oh no, it's not good. Well, me and this SK are gonna finish off this stone gazer here. Oh, he died because he was also typing an OOC. Well, looks like we're gonna chill for a second. Um, looks like I don't have chloroplast, but I do have bandages. I'm gonna bandage up. And the, uh, SK is just gonna feign death here, that's probably wise. And I'm gonna keep an eye out on the, uh, in the direction of potential trouble. There is a 56 cleric in zone, I wonder if they're gonna help us out. Our monk just petitioned to out of combat for a res. Okay. Looks like we're going for another Sarnak Knight here. We don't have heals right now, so these guys better get in here and steal the aggro from me. But I am doing damage. I am definitely doing damage. So it can't be that easy. Then bind a wound back to 50. Ready for the next one. My SK is saying that the goons are still here, but I don't see him. I don't see him. He like spammed the chat with hailing them. Huh. Well. East, he says. All right. Well, whatever. They're not. They're not on us. They're not even within visible range. So, anyway, killing tiger. So failing just dinged. We're up to fifty-three percent. Gonna uh, pause it while this group recovers. 
unless I think of something to say, and I should actually get back to fletching. Alright, we're just getting back started. The shaman is not really here yet and recovered yet, so what we're going to do is, to prevent HP loss, we're going to do the old snare and fear kite method on the animals here. I don't know what happened right there. Oh yeah, it worked. See, he's trying to run, he's just getting stunned so much. We're gonna let Woods tank this, because, you know, he does have full HP, I'm down to 59, and Synap is down to 52, but it looks like Woods is not doing anything to get aggro with this mob, unfortunately, so. Huh. That would have been nice if he did. We don't have to take out the succulent. But I guess we're going to. I'm at 36% HP, I better not get aggro. We're gonna bind a wound now. Like, we got a lot of mana, but it goes fast. So, we're gonna use bind a wound while we can. Get up to 50%. And then we will burn some heals on ourselves. So, for those who are watching and don't know, a dragoon is a dark elf guard. You might have seen them in Nariac. If you ever started a Dark Elf, they're kind of like the boss of the guards. But they're just the basic guard out here. In Kunark, they sent the elite, you know. We don't want to burn too much on heals. Maybe one more. Oh, there goes the monk. He's out. Alright, let's we'll bring a tiger in here. Snare. Snared. And fear. There we go. Damage mitigated. Pretty sure that Rhino's gonna jump on us next. Oh, we got a Necro heal. That's cool. And we don't have heals. So definitely using Panic Animal on this one. Good, this SK can off tank the uh, cockatrice the there. There we go. Oh, I didn't realize that I actually had pulled this guy. So we're gonna get him running now. coming in clutch, but it's definitely not better than uh, what we had going on before. Missing the DPS from the Shaman. He's apparently going AFK for a couple minutes to make coffee, he says. Stone Gazer Cockatrices, for some reason, are not animals. I mean, doesn't that look like an animal to you? <laughs> but it's not. 
whatever. But that's why right now I'm really trying to, as I pull, I'm trying to avoid things that are not animals, just so we can get that nice damage mitigation with Panic Animal. Just like that. Phalene's got her pet tanking a rhino back there. But I'm looking at the pet's HP and it seems fine. Let me get in there. Snare it. Send it on the run. Wow, she schooled it. It's almost dead already. Okay. Now we are getting tired, so we gotta invigor again. Okay. It's been a great group. We're pushing through 40 nice and quick. Finally getting back on Mirror Arrow now that we tricked him out. I just bought some Tolan's Darkwood Vambraces for him. They are waiting on the mule in the tunnel. So I'm going to start tricking him out. But I'm out of money now. But I got him two pieces of Tolan's. I got him the Worm Slayer and this really good whip that will start to proc snares at level 50. So I think I've spoiled him a bit, but as you can see, we're doing not a bad job, but without that Shaman, his added DPS with his Charmed Rhino and his heals, we've dropped down to 18% XP per hour. bother to time because we want the Shadow Knight to pick up aggro. His HP is holding pretty nice. But he doesn't seem like he's trying to, which is a little bit unfortunate. I should probably say something. Like, hey, feel free to steal aggro from me. It's like, I can steal it back if I want it. Like, I got Snare and Flame Lick. Like, sorry, you're not going to beat me, even as a Shadow Knight, on that front. But, uh, in the meantime, it's probably good if you're sitting at full health and a bunch of mana, which you could use for life tapping to go ahead and steal that aggro, especially since I'm pulling anyway. Leaves me free to go do just that. Looks like I forgot to snare this tigress. time I log in after this group, I am probably going to need to get some fletching supplies. Maybe someone can help me buy them from the outpost here, or maybe it's possible to sneak in and buy them from behind the vendor. I'm not sure. I have to find out. One hand slash just went up two levels. One, f A few levels. It's up to 196 now. That's really good. If it went up four levels, I'm sure that's affected my DPS. Probably a little bit significantly. This is a tiger. A bit stronger than the tigress. 
so we're gonna fear it. I fear it again. Get some first person action. Mix it up. We're getting tired again. We're gonna re invigor. Sorry, I had to look away for a second. Yeah, let's get let's get a little more down to earth on it here. Getting low on mana, but we got a ton of HP. is going on here. Well, I know I can help with that. Alright, looks like our shaman is back. been so good. Alright, we need to give ourselves another strength of the earth. You almost done? There we go, we got another rhino pet. So, we don't have to worry about um, panic animal anymore. Our DPS should be pretty good, although without the without Faleen doing her new kitsch, definitely going to see a drop. But look, we're still ripping stuff apart. It's fine. It's fine. Get a couple more levels and we'll be more ready to be a tank at the stables camp in City of Mist. Although this seems so much better. I really like this zone. I'm going to have a lot of fun here. Oh, it looks like we got a charm break. I'm 
shaman should be fine though. Alright, now the rhino's back in action on our side. See, these tigresses are the perfect level for us. They're like low enough that we're, we can school them even without fear. That's how, that's how easy they are for us, but they're still dark blue. But we know with one fear we can rip them down without losing hardly anything. So I was really looking for more tigresses and I was finding some of them when I was trying to solo in uh, Emerald Jungle. But there's so much other stuff there too and there weren't so many of the tigresses. There was frenzied tigers, which are like practically even cons, and lots of stuff like that going on, so. This zone feels like it's got a much better population. Although it also feels very dense, so I'm not sure it's the right place. We're back up to 26% per hour. It's just so nice with the the shaman around. Shamans are the best, man. Oh, I did not have attack on through that fight. Okay, let's pretend like we did. <laughs> Another tigress. See, a lot of tigresses. The problem is there's just so many mobs everywhere. I can't imagine fear kiting would go very well. But perhaps at, like near the zone wall. Maybe I could find a spot where it's safe enough and there's still enough of them to be worth it. We're getting pretty tired again. And we're completely out of energy. Let's reinvigor ourselves here. So once we get through 40, we should notice 41 being significantly faster. And we're in a good place to just keep grinding it out. I mean, if there are groups like this occasionally, plus, um, plus good soloing, this is the best spot. See, I didn't know. Like, I thought the groups were all going to be in City of Mist. I didn't know there were groups in the over there. What a fool I was, apparently. Uh oh. Well, his pet can tank that for a hot minute here. Oh, so he roots it and then he pulls the pet off. That's a smart system. Look at how fast we're attacking with quickness and their flowing black silk sash. It's awesome. It's awesome. Up to 28% now. See, this is great. Like, this is just about perfect. We got a four-man group. We could even do without the Shadow Knight. Just me and the Shaman and the Necro. With the Charm. Just me and the Shaman, dude. We would be the best combo here. S especially with Fear Kiting. Oh my god. There, it would be unbeatable.
the XP would just be through the roof. He would be charming, and I would be doing good DPS. And fear kiting stuff so he didn't have to heal, which means if he if we got a bunch of animals in a row and he didn't need to heal me, he could be throwing out dots for extra DPS. Killing a bit faster. Now a thorny succulent. I wonder if you get hurt when you hit it? it. Seems like you should, right? But I don't think you do. Interestingly enough. Now, these guys are not KOS, but he's just walking all over our camp. So I thought, get rid of him. A berserker, but he's light blue, but he's going to walk right through our camp, so I better grab him too. But anyway, guys, this is it. Just the, the straight-up grind. I think I'm going to call it here in just a second. Oh, my sow just dropped, too. And we're getting tired again. And we've only got 9% mana. Got up to 65% in. I forget what we started with. I think it was something like around 25 or 30. So we rocked a good portion of level 40. These guys are not replying to me. I guess they don't care. You know, I uh, I almost didn't come because they didn't actually want me in the group when my when Faleen first asked them. They're like, "Well, then we'll get less XP," and, it, and then they're like, "All right, he can come." It's like, really, you guys? Somebody asked if their friend can come join, and he's a ranger. I mean, it's not gonna hurt. You got haste. He's got dual wield. He's got snare. You don't have a snare. I guess that necro can snare, but felt a little, you know, and then look, I say goodbye, thanks for group, I wait a while, then I say, okay, good luck to you. I mean, I said like, okay guys, I think I'm going to call it after like two more. Silence. Two more. Okay, thanks for group. Silence. Good luck to you. Silence. You know, it's like, maybe you guys should take a break. If you're just like, oh, I'm gonna go to the numbers, the numbers need to go up, oh, someone's leaving. I'm upset about that because the numbers are going to go up slower or I'm happy about that in a vindictive way because I didn't want him in the group anyway. Either way, I'm not going to say anything. Uh, like if, if that's how you're even slightly feeling, it's time to switch to a different character or just log off, watch a TV show, you know, chill out, dude. There's no rush. Don't get caught up in this false sense of some rush. There is no rush. It's a completely false sense of rush that you get just psychologically when you play an MMORPG and it has a max level and there's other people who are progressing towards that max level. Like People just get it in their head like they've got a push. Um, yeah, maybe some of it's like, oh, I, I, I need to be a certain level for raiding. And that's the only time it's legitimate. But even then, like if you ask me, it's not worth playing with an attitude like where like you feel that way. And I'm not saying they should have a better attitude. I'm saying, like at some point, that's the attitude you get because you're just not enjoying yourself. So I don't think it's worth it to grind, not enjoying yourself to get to the raids, because you know you're getting to raids just to get gear. We can all admit that. 
the raid scene on EverQuest is not so exciting for most classes. I think rangers would have an interesting time, although they just take death touches mostly, but they could be involved in polling. Monks probably have an interesting time. Rogues probably have some fun, you know, watching their DPS numbers and stuff, but a lot of classes are just spamming the same stuff over and over again. And it ends up just being like the grind of grinds, you know? Like people complain about how the, the group XP grind is on this game. Well, from my experience, the raid grind is even more of a grindy grind, you know? So I think after like one or two or three, very few classes have enough going on in their responsibilities and in their what they're supposed to do in the raid to actually make it still like super fun. And I think the other people are kind of hanging in there because they're getting some uh, sense of accomplishment contributing to the group thing and they're after their gear, right? And uh, that could be a legitimate reason to push a little harder because at some point the rating's going to die down because everybody gets their gear. But there'll always be raids happening. There will always be. Like your whole guild could get totally geared up, but there's always going to be some pug raid or some guild that's raiding. At least the most recent content. Always. So, um, yeah, it's like... It's kind of like Road Rage, or it's like an unhealthy s tendency. Um, and I'm not going to be a, one of the people who's like, well, that's just how some people enjoy the game. It's like, no, I think some people are succumbing to an unhealthy psychological tendency that's causing them suffering. There's a camel that chews a certain leaf. I forget where in the world. <laughs> but this leaf has thorns, and when he's chewing it, it's cutting his mouth. And he's tasting his own blood, and he thinks he's enjoying it, so he continues to do it. Um, but it's not good. Not really enjoying. I don't know. That's a, that's a way out there example. But you kind of get my point, right? Like having had as much experience as I have had playing games in general and playing EverQuest, I think I can say that I really do think these people would be a lot happier if they could recognize when they're getting dark. That's what it feels like to me, getting dark. They can recognize when they're getting dark and take a break. And look, there goes uh, Mazzini, the shaman, who was our group shaman. He's looks like he's leaving. He's running to the zone line over here, so maybe the group disbanded and yeah, I mean, eventually you burn out, but maybe you should put it down sooner, you know? Put it down while you're still kind of having fun, but it's on the way down. Don't wait until you're already into the this dark gutter of sort of, like, quick to anger and kind of bitter of your fellow man, right? Your fellow group mates, you, like, don't even want to, like, type a reply, like, yeah, good group, good luck to you. You don't even ha want to type that, because that's the kind of attitude you're in right now. You know, like, you should have stopped a while ago. Look at him, he ran through me, and then he ran back, and they stopped, and now he's just looking at me. It's like wondering what I'm doing. Anyway, we're going to stay invis. I don't feel like standing up and waving at the camera in front of that shaman there. But he was a good shaman, man, charming the... Uh, Charming the rhinos, healing on on point, rooting CC. He did it all. Hasty, keeping me hasted, keeping me with HP regen. It's really a great group and a great grind. I will see you guys for the next one. Marrow's back, baby. Peace.